Hello students, I hope you are well. I am Priyangvada, PhD English from Kendri Vidalaya area. How are you all? I hope you are coping well in this COVID situation. You are attending all your online classes and staying safe at your home. But do you worry sometimes? Do you sometimes get very anxious? Do you get bored and sad? Never mind. All of us go through that phase. All of us get anxious sometimes. For that, Mental Health Week is being celebrated, is being observed from 4th October to 10th October. And in that situation, on that occasion, I would like to tell you a story. I hope you would enjoy it. The Huge Bag of Worries. This is the name of the story. It is written by Virginia Ironside and the book is illustrated by Frank Rogers. So, shall we begin? Jenny had always been happy. She had a lovely mom and dad, a great brother, well, most of the time. She had a best friend at school and she liked her teacher. And of course, there was Loftus. But recently, she had been getting gloomier and gloomier. It wasn't just one thing, it was everything. She worried that she was getting too fat, that Loftus has fleas, that, and that her best friend was going away. She worried that she was getting bad marks at school and she thought she heard someone whispering about her in the playground. She worried when her mom and dad had an argument. She even worried about wars and bombs. Until one day, she woke to find a huge bag of worries. Ah, girl, boohoo! The bag followed her everywhere. To school, to swimming, and to the toilet. And it stuck by her even when she was watching TV. She tried ignoring it, but it didn't work. She tried throwing it away, but it always came back. She tried to lock it out, but when she got back to her bedroom, there it was, waiting for her. It was like a horrible shadow she couldn't get rid of. What could she do? She asked her brother for help, but he was busy with his computer game and all he said was, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any worries. After that, she didn't feel like asking anyone else. She knew she'd only feel stupid. Mom would probably say, you have got no worries that I can see. You're a lucky girl. You have got your health, your friend, your family. What more do you want? So she decided not to tell her. Dad might know what to do. But then she thought again, no, dad had enough worries of his own. She couldn't ask him. Every day things got worse. The bag got bigger and bigger and bigger. She couldn't sleep because it kept tossing and turning beside her all night. To make matters worse, the bag dragged around her feet so much when she was walking to school but she was late and the teacher was cross. Jenny couldn't tell her what had happened and anyway she knew what she would say. You have got too many worries. In future, leave that bag at home. When Jenny told her best friend about the bag, she suggested that Jenny locked it up in a cupboard and tried not to think about it. That's what I do, she said. But it just didn't work. Even Loftus couldn't help. He tried his best and barked like mad, but the bag stood its ground. One morning, Jenny woke up, got dressed and walked down the road. She had had enough. The tears started rolling down her cheeks. She sat on a garden wall and put her head in her hands. She thought she would have to live with the bag forever. Then she heard a voice and looking up, 
she saw the kindly face of the old lady who lived next door. Goodness, said the old lady, what on earth is that huge bag of worries? Through her tears, Jenny explained how it had followed her for weeks and got bigger and bigger and just wouldn't go away. Now let's open it up and say what's inside, said the old lady. But Jenny said she couldn't. If she opened the bag, the Oris might jump out and who knew what might happen then? Nonsense, said the old lady firmly. There's nothing a worry hates more than being seen. If you have any worries, however small, the secret is to let them out slowly, one by one, and show them to someone else. They'll soon go away. So Jenny opened the bag. The old lady sorted the worries into groups. Jenny was astonished to see how small they looked when they were out in the open. Half the worries disappeared because lots of worries just hate the light of the day. As for the rest, the old lady put some in her shopping bag to deal with herself. Some she sent packing because she said they belonged to other people. Some she just blew a kiss to. And some she said were worries that everyone had, even Jenny's family, her friends and her teacher. And as for the bag, you, she just threw it away. And Jenny became happy again. So, students, children, my dear, how do you like this story? We all are like Jenny sometimes, aren't we? Sometimes we feel that huge bag of Odys is crushing us. But as this granny says, we will just have to show it to someone. We will just have to talk. So, whenever you are feeling down, whenever you are feeling sad, whenever you are feeling anxious or worried, just talk about it. And do not make the mistake like Jenny. She thought that her parents will not understand just because her brother didn't. It's not so. Your parents, your teachers, your friends, Everyone is there for you. You will just have to talk about it. And they will see that everyone goes through it. But finally, we all overcome it. So, how can you judiciously employ this time when you are sitting at home? Why don't you enjoy quality family time? See? Every other time, we are always coming to school, going to tuitions, studying and studying and studying. But now, everyone is here together, aren't they? You finally have, finally can have some time with your family. So use this time. Play board games, antakshari, other indoor games, music and crafts. Play with your father and mother and brother and sister and everyone. See, you will love this time at home. Learning can also be fun. See, normally during school times, we only pay attention to our academic learning, to our syllabus. But you know, we can learn a lot of things that is not included in our syllabus. You can even learn from your household chores that are sometimes a little boring. But if you do it with if you help your parents, if you help your mother, you will see that you would enjoy it and you would learn a lot of things. And obviously online classes. So do not be silent when the class is going on. You have to be interactive. If you support your teacher, if you question and answer and talk, then the classes will be very lively and you will enjoy it. And it would be fruitful also. Finally, the peer support. Just like you, your friends might also be in problems sometimes. So, you'd have to help each other. Okay. So, when uh, you can also be the teacher for your friends. And it would be more lively. You can take them their help. You can help them by yourselves. And it would be a great thing. 
that's all for today students i hope you enjoyed this story have a good day